Ooh, we got a developer insight on the Mandalorian with the Beskar armor. So, he's gonna have Grogu, which is how it should be, not the one with IG. That one was stupid. At least this makes more sense. But now if you're partnered up with IG, it's gonna be weird, because now there's gonna be two uh, <laughs> Grogu's, essentially. <laughs> Anyways, sexy picture right here. Ugh. Hey! The Mandalorian Beskar armor is headed to the holotables in spectacular, shiny fashion. From his meek beginnings as a foundling to his transformation into a fully Beskar-clad protector of the child, Din Djarin embodies the toughness required to survive in the frontier of the Outer Rim. Whether they're brought in warm or brought in cold, the Mandalorian always delivers his bounty. Equipped with whistling birds, the Mandalorian Beskar armor is prepared to send to lead scoundrels into battle while adding survivability to the faction by dispelling debuffs and equalizing protection. His immunity to ability block and some help from a little adorable friend add to an already impressive array at Mando's disposal. Unlock the Mandalorian Beskar armor by heading to his hero's journey when the event launches this week and is permanently available in the journey guide. This is the way. The basics. The Mandalorian with Beskar armor is a powerful leader that enhances scoundrel squads. While the Mandalorian with Beskar armor is aligned with the light side, his abilities work with both light and dark side scoundrels. That would make sense. Duh. I mean, he's got the scoundrel tag, so... <laughs> Using discipline setup gives you access to Taylor Swift takedown on your next turn. Cool. Take Taylor Swift down. Sweet. You must use Taylor Swift takedown after discipline setup and all. Wait, what? After discipline setup and all other abilities are removed? You must use Swift takedown after discipline setup and all other abilities are removed. What does that mean? Whistling birds last until the Mandalorian uses Taylor Swift takedown or is defeated and persists through the end of an encounter. <laughs> really? Beskar Mandalorian's unique protective intuition allows Mando to take a bonus turn when scoundrel allies fall below 75% health. Mando can use his, this extra turn to protect his allies by equalizing protection and giving a target ally and himself damage immunity with Wonder of the Force. During this bonus turn, you can choose who to protect with Wonder of the Force regardless of who triggered this protective intuition. Grogu in the Pram. He's a part of the model, so you can see the child in the roster screen. Unique. The Mandalorian has a unique way of changing, uh, charging up whistling birds. Using discipline set up. <laughs> this, come on, you made me say that stupid. <laughs> Using discipline set up gives you one stack of whistling birds for each enemy. And then Mando gains additional stacks of whistling birds whenever an enemy takes damage. Max 20 stacks. He can only earn stacks of whistling birds in the time between when he uses discipline setup and Taylor Swift takedown, and when protective intuition is triggered. The visual effects for whistling birds is also very unique. We used a new animation technique for whistling birds that randomizes the flight paths of rockets each time you use it, so it looks different every time. The Mandalorian is the first playable character that can ignore stealth, allowing him to hunt down elusive prey. That can ignore stealth? Is he the first? Yeah, maybe. There's been plenty that can ignore taunt. <clears throat> I mean, that can ignore taunt. But I don't think anybody could do stealth yet. That's cool. So that takes care of annoying characters like, um, Dangar or Leia. I mean, they're not difficult. So they're not annoying in that regard. But they're annoying like how they want to go and hide like that. So now it's like, hey, what's... Hey man, what's up? You're still gonna die. <laughs> we get to see more of the child, and he has an ability of his own, Wonder of the Force. The child assists in times of need to protect Mando and his scoundrel allies. Inspiration. We already used the gunslinger shot for brown armor, Mando's basic, so putting it on here would have looked redundant. We were looking to make the two characters more distinguishable, so opted to only use weapons that hadn't been used yet. 
The other Mando has more range with the pistol and the rifle, while Mandalorian, best girl armor, has more of an up close and personal feel to his attacks. There were several animations that we left on the table with the first iteration of this character. The whistling birds and fighting with the vibro knife were our top two favorites that we weren't able to include last time. The whistling birds in particular turned out really well and tie nicely into the mechanics of the kit. We specifically looked at the character of the Mandalorian de during season one of the show after he has the best car armor forged, but before he has his signet and jetpack. This means there may be some things you saw the character do on the show before and after that time period that we did not try to replicate with the kit. The child was a major part of the character in this time period as well, so we wanted to make sure he received a prominent feature in, in the kit. Unlike IG-11, where the child is tied to the passive unique, here the child is part of an activated ability, Wonder of the Force. Strategy. Taylor Swift Takedown is good against a small group of enemies, but it might only deal a small amount of damage target... Wait, what? It might only deal a small amount of single target damage if there are too many enemy units that can soak up the AoE damage. Hmm. They have a point there. You can use Taylor Swift ta Takedown against enemies with low health, since you know which enemy it will target the next weakest. This means you can finish off badly damaged enemies without wasting extra damage from remaining whistling birds. Hmm. Your squad should save abilities that deal damage multiple times from when the Mandalorian Beskar armor is setting up with Discipline Setup to build up stacks of whistling birds. <laughs> damage multiple times. Hmm. You don't have to target the ally that triggered protective intuition with Wonder of the Force's damage immunity, so use it on the ally you want to keep safe. Squad suggestions. Scoundrels that can deal damage multiple times are very effective for building stacks of whistling birds and great at generating turn meter for all scoundrel allies from the Mandalorian's leader ability, Seasoned Tactics. Both Seasoned Tactics and Discipline Setup trigger on all damage, not just from attacks. DLTs, Exposed, Burning, and Death Mark will all trigger, trigger those abilities. You may want to consider units like Raid Han, Chewie, Enfys Nass, Quill, IG-11, and L337 for this squad. Mission and Zalbar are very good in this squad. Zalbar is a solid tank that counterattacks frequently, calling Mission to assist for additional sources of damage and DLTs. This can provide a scoundrel squad with a ton of turn meter gain outside of their turns. The Mandalorian with some Beskar armor's abilities are not limited to light side scoundrels, so Kendra Sordo and bounty hunters in general can be good partners. Facts. <laughs> Why no bounty hunter tech? Well, all bounty hunters in our game need a contract and a payout. And adding these to this version of the Mandalorian would have forced us to limit other abilities of his. This version of the character is arguably not a gilded bounty hunter as well, as he spends most of season 1 on the run from the bounty hunter's guild, and not working with them. Hence, he's not getting a bounty hunter's tag, because he had a job and he ended up saving it. A.K.A. Grogu. Yeah, so there you go. That's some insight on to the new Mando coming out. Um, I see right here, kit reveal. So we're going to check that out in a different video. So uh, until that one, you already know. I said see ya.